Welcome to today's vlog for Sunday the 20th of June 2021. Let's get going! <sighs> right, most important meal of the day done. Breakfast, wonderful. Time to get dressed and start editing. Editing, watching IndyCar, what a dream. See if I can multitask well. It might take me a bit longer to edit the video because I'll keep looking back at the screen to see whether there's something exciting happening in the IndyCar qualifying. Yeah, but got lots of motor racing to watch today, so I'll give you a review of qualifying once I've finished that. Right, go and check out Friday's vlog. It's called Alcohol and Football. Right, so still editing the other vlog that I've got to edit, but just finished watching qualifying for the Road America um, in the IndyCar. And well done, Joseph Newgarden. Uh, doing it on the blacks rather than the red tyres and uh, he rest them out. But yeah, it should be an exciting race tomorrow. But yeah, uh, Grosjean's, I think, P7. Uh, I think my favourite Jack Harvey is P4, which is good. So bring on that race uh, later today if I get to watch it today or I might have to wait till tomorrow morning to watch it. Now on to the final F3 race of the weekend, which is super exciting and it's currently wet, so... Looking forward to watching that. Well done, Jack Doohan, for his first win in the wet in France. Very exciting race, lots of overtaking again, in, but in completely different places because of the wet, the wet lines and the wet weather. But it dried out towards the end, which made it even more exciting. I was, um, one guy went on the, the softs or on off onto the dry tyres, and it was so, it was like ten seconds a lap quicker, but. Because he was already so far back, he didn't really make an impact. That would have been exciting if he'd have been a bit further forwards uh, to see him try and uh, trying to overtake as well. But yeah, a good a good podium. Uh, Halga again looking really strong. Um, Victor Martins really strong weekend just off the podium. Could have had three podiums this weekend. Great drive. Kyle Collette getting that podium though. Yeah, nice. Uh, Vesti bit unlucky after that super lap on Friday. Not to get anything out of, uh, not really to get anything good out. He dropped back to sixth, but maybe that was due to the wet weather, which would be which would be a shame. Yeah. Right. Catch up with you in a bit. Last vlog uploaded. Wet feet and old planes. Go and check it out now for yesterday's vlog. Oh, what a Formula E race! Pascal Verlaine dominated, then got disqualified. Not really sure what for, but well done, Lucas Grassi made his way through nicely. Rast P two, and uh, Matara P three. Absolutely great race, as always, although sometimes but very annoying with Sam Bird being knocked out. They, I think they might need to change that for today's race, um, that that uh, attack mode section, because it didn't, didn't seem to work particularly great. So, yeah, change that and we'll see what happens. But, yeah, a former E is always an exciting championship. It's just because it's quite slow. Um, but yeah, there's always overtaking because of the way people manage their energy. So yeah, another exciting race. Can't wait for the next one. They bloody disqualified him for his tyres. I don't understand that. They, apparently you have to register your tyres before the race, even though everyone runs on the same tyres. A stupid, stupid, stupid rule. You need, def you need to change in Formula E. That's just destroyed, destroyed the race. Honestly, Verline being disqualified for not declaring tyres. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Yeah, but anyway, uh, especially as he drove faultlessly the whole race, hopefully he can uh, do it again tomorrow and make up for it, fingers crossed, eh? What a, another F1 race. This is turning into a classic F1 season. Congratulations, Max, for that win. Fantastic uh, two-stop strategy and then overtook v Valtteri and Lewis. I think if Valtteri had held um, Max up for even half, another half a lap, he might have not got Lewis, but yeah, absolutely fantastic race. A great strategy. Perez, another good podium. Yeah, Lewis um, probably well, probably performed as well as the car could be expected because he had the second fastest car. And uh, shame about the Ferraris, but another fantastic strategy by Lando Norris to power through pitting later and a bit just passing everyone to finish fifth. Uh, a great result for him. I think he's probably still right up there in the championship. Great result for da Daniel Ricciardo as well today. And the two Aston Martins doing a fantastic strategy starting on the hards. So yeah, another great uh, F1 race, some fantastic overtakes and some great, uh, just great strategy as well. Um, I really enjoyed that race. Go and check my TikTok out for the day, just filmed it. So yeah, after the Grand Prix, just 
had ordered but ordering an Indian for tonight, which is exciting for Father's Day. That's what my dad wants, so that's nice. Yeah, and then hopefully get the Formula E race, what's later on, the IndyCar, or which one do I go for? That's the question. Yeah, but been a productive day. No walk today, because this black cloud has been, I'm not going to bloody risk it, because I'll probably get really wet. Right, so I've just made this uh, passion fruit fruit uh, salad. There it is. Now time to try it. Macho, macho man. Quite nice. Yeah. Could do with maybe a bit more passion fruit, but very nice. So I've had my curry. It was okay. And nothing special. Enjoyed what I ate, but yeah, some prawn thing and uh, a chicken thing, which was nice, and some bread. I love Poppadon, lovely. And then I watched the, the IndyCar race, fantastic race. Well done, Alex Palou. I feel very sorry for New Garden, dominated the race, and then had an engine problem with two laps to go, which is a shame because I think he would have won that. I uh, saw uh, a few golf strategy, including Jack Harvey. I uh, thought, uh, thought uh, he should have just tried to hold them up and tried to stay near the front and then hope for a caution. Caution came, but I think probably would have been too late for him, and then he dropped, he'd, he'd already dropped miles back anyway. So there you go. Um, now I'm going to watch some more TV, but yeah, great, another great IndyCar race from Road America. Rosham looks really strong. I wonder if he'll be able to catch up and pull in uh, McLaughlin for the rookie title, but I don't think so, considering he's missing three races of the season. But if he keeps on performing like he has and getting top fives and McLaughlin only back in the, the mid, mid, uh, mid right in the middle field in 15, 16th there's always a chance but I doubt it anyway looking forward to the next race in a couple of weeks in mid Ohio that's always a, usually a good race and that'd be interesting to see whether Rossi can start to bounce back or whether Harvey can take his first win or maybe even Grosjean right I don't know where I've left off in the last clip but I had a good evening yeah and now I'm in bed ready to go to bed so I'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I'll Robert out.